Some younger Americans say they feel left behind by the U.S. economy. That's according to new reporting from Bankrate. According to the survey, 38% of Gen Z and millennials say they have a harder time growing their financial wealth compared to their parents at the same age. And 24% <laughs> of Gen X and baby boomers say they have it harder than their parents did. All right, here to discuss is Sarah Foster. She's an analyst at Bankrate, and she wrote this article. Wait, Sarah. Why are you saying it like that? Well, because, okay, first of all, yes, I'm a Gen Xer. We definitely had it harder than the baby boomers. But you can't tell me that the baby boomers, whose parents fought in World War II and survived the Great Depression, that they had it harder. In fact, the well, theory has always the economy, been... Though. The, the theory has always been that the baby boomers, those born in the years uh, after World War II up until the mid-1960s, did tremendously well. They're the ones, like, running the country now, mm -hmm. and that uh, the lives that they led from, with, with everything from the GI Bill, when uh, mm -hmm. their, their fathers, the baby boomers, came back, uh, uh, when their fathers from the greatest generation came back from fighting in World War I, to job opportunities, to redlining that prevented African Americans from having opportunities that were afforded to everyone else, led to this great boom of talent and money and wealth and subsequent generations each generation afterwards has not done as well so Gen X didn't do as well as baby boomers of course it stands the reason Gen Z is not doing as well as we did so what are you saying quit your complaining a little bit <laughs> okay no, why, why do young people feel this way it's great to be here thanks <laughs> for having me in the studio I, I think exactly this point was also evident in our survey we saw that generations no matter what age group you were most of them agreed that they felt like they had it harder building wealth in the economy mm. of course the data shows that Gen Z and Millennials are feeling that to a greater extent but even Gen Xers and baby boomers were more likely to say that they felt like they were having a harder time mm. and what I think is kind of going on here is you you know, it's inherently vulnerable being young because you're getting your life started, you're building your finances still. And so there's something that puts you in a little bit of a tough position to grow mm. wealth. And I, I think the usual suspects of economic barriers are at play here. Cost of living concerns, housing affordability, but even in my research, some uh, other ones that I didn't think of, uh, the decline in pensions, having to kind of support yourself on your own in retirement, mm. as, as, as well as, you know, this idea that company loyalty isn't as uh, common anymore with mm. these devastating back-to-back -back recessions. Mm. But there are some who say, no, they actually feel like it's easier for them to it's, generate wealth. Right. Are they all, like, successful influencers? Who are these people? <laughs> I, I think what is interesting is that younger Americans are taking steps in the right direction to help their finances. We're seeing that some of the key differences of, you know, 28% of younger Americans say that they're having to take alternative steps to, to build their wealth. Mm. Those key differences are prioritizing their careers, uh, prioritizing retirement savings. Mm. Even researchers at the St. Louis Fed kind of point to this uh, inherent interest that younger Americans are showing in investing. Uh, my kind of uh, first hunch here was, you know, these alternative steps, what are these? Are these uh, potentially risky steps that younger Americans are taking, uh, like maybe getting caught up in get-rich-quick schemes on right. Bitcoin? But, Actually, but, no. Well, it's, huh. it, to me, though, it, and I feel, for, I feel for this generation because... Not only are they dealing with the soul-crushing debt that they incur from attending college, which mm -hmm. is what we told them to do, right? Mm -hmm. We told them they go to college and that leads to better outcomes. The system is inherently, as you point out, gamed against younger people. So perhaps what they need to do, is there a way for them to think about how to react and behave that is different from generations that came before? I think what... With, when it comes to money. I think what's important is uh, something that we found in our survey, too, is recognizing that younger generations say that they feel like they have a harder time building wealth than their parents, but the money advice that they learn often comes from their family. Exactly. And so uh, a big risk, actually, that kind of popped up in our research is that maybe actually that traditional path to buying wealth, home ownership, mm -hmm. that could be a little bit risky exactly. if you do this too early in your life, especially at a time of low inventory, high prices, high mortgage rates. Uh, I think I would love to really communicate to younger Americans that this misconception that you have to be a homeowner first before you grow your wealth, mm. it's not the path. You can take steps right now to, to achieve financial wealth in the future. You know, the path, the journey might be a little bit different than it looked for older generations, but the destination is the same. Yeah, Very. because it's baby boomers who came up with that whole BS American dream owning house, right? Yeah, like yeah. they're the ones who came I mean, up with it. I mean, it's not BS. It worked for them. At right, the time. but what Sarah's saying is yeah. it, it doesn't necessarily work now for younger people because there are so many, and the economy is not geared towards 
younger people. Mm -hmm. And it, it is if the baby boomers are still running things, how do you think they're going to game the economy to benefit them, Completely. not Gen Z? Yeah. Uh, Sarah Foster, thank you very much. Thanks for having really me. Really fascinating. Thank you.